I'm Lauren. And I'm Mark. And this is The Dengineers. The show that puts you in charge of building your very own dream den. Whoa! Indoors. Is this yours? Yeah. Outdoors. Oh, that's so cool. Even underground. Woo! That's amazing. Whatever you want, the Dengineers team are here to transform your ideas into amazing spaces. Built especially for you. Here we go. To the Dengineers. Today we're in Kent to build a den based all around the beautiful game. My favourite sport. Yeah, that's right. Netball. No. Uh, croquet? No. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Tiddlywinks. A Tiddlywinks den. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly right. Wind up merchant. It's football, of course. Here's today's Dengineer. Meet 11 year old Billy. This is my Manchester United kit. The away kit. This is my alarm clock, which I love and hate at the same time. It doesn't take a genius to work out what his favourite sport is. That is a rainbow fit. So as you can see by all of this wonderful stuff, I'm a really, really, really big Chelsea supporter. No, not really. I'm a Manchester United supporter by miles. But this wannabe Rooney is running out of room for his growing footy collection. We've recently just moved into a really nice house from where we uh, used to live because um, the area wasn't that nice. But our other house was a lot bigger, so it means that I have to give up room space for my six-year-old brother, which is just horrible. Billy, shut up. Billy, shut up. Billy, it's really annoying because, one, he's always touching uh, my stuff when I tell him not to. Get off. He's always on my computer when I tell him not to. Ow, ow. At night time, he's always moving around and shaking the bed. Oh, my day, stop it! And this bed is just horribly squeaky. <laughs> so you need to help me out then, Jennings, because I need you to build me a football den. Um, so I can keep all my football stuff in, uh, in my den with some peace and quiet and without that little monster getting in. Uh oh, someone's in trouble. You do realise that uh, I used to be a professional footballer, don't you? I mean, yeah, I mean, I think you've mentioned it maybe like, I don't know, 5,000 times. All right, all right. Anyway, I've got it on good authority that Billy is actually training for a tournament I know. right now. But where? Is it that way? I don't or know. Can you, can you hear something? There's a whistle. Yeah, that way. way. Let's go. <laughs> Billy's currently working hard at what he thinks is a normal school football practice. Even an arm in plaster wouldn't keep him away from training. I see Billy round the ties, keep going. His teacher knows we're on our way. Good, Billy, well done. But no one else has a clue what's about to go down. That's it, through, through these runs. They're right there with the coach now playing. Got to be quiet and can't be seen through this fence. Brilliant, Charlie. Well done. Come on, let's do this. Gathering, guys! Gathering! Come on over! There's one boy in particular who we're looking for, and he goes by the name of uh, Billy. There he is. Come in here, Bill. Come, Come on in over, here. Billy. So, Billy, you look a bit of shock, so I'll put you out of your misery. My name is Lauren, this is Mark. We're from CBBC's The Dengineers, and we're here to tell you that you're going to have your dream den built. How do you feel? Happy. Very happy. Boys, you going to come and visit the den? Yeah! yeah! As soon as they said, uh, I'm looking for a boy, then I knew I knew what was going on, which was a massive surprise. Let's just see that. Oh, uh, here we go. First oh, one to tackle God. me gets to come into the den. <laughs> Mark's football skills are very bad, and I think we could all do better. You're rubbish, Mark, right? You're rubbish! Lauren, help! I'm not helping you! Is that it? Are we finished? Oh, 
Okay, you can all come, you can all come. Yeah! With all these invites you're offering, Mark, we'd better get on with building this den. And every den starts with a visit to the Dengineer's mobile HQ and its super-sized brain. So, Billy, welcome to our awesome Dengineer's van. In here, we're going to have a look at all these images on this really cool computer so we can see what you might like in your footballing den. What kind of colours are you after? Red. Why red? Because I support and love Manchester United. Let's put a red kit in there like that. That for, like, on the floor. Oh, so nice. nice! So, are we thinking maybe going to bring, like, a little bit of the stadium to your den? That's quite cool, so it looks like there's, like, loads of trophies in that. Your team are pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, we've won the league recently. Gonna do some homework in your den? No. Why not? Because my den's gonna be a non-homework area. Right, non-parent area yeah. and non-homework area. And non-brother area. Billy's got a clear plan for his footy den. Lots of red colour, huge stadium features and a funky space inside to live and breathe his passion for football. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. There's only one Dengineer's designer up for this sporty challenge. Oh, yes. It's Olga. Her imagination and eye for bright colours is exactly what we need to bring Billy's big stadium plans to life. Time to get round Billy's house and get this den on the road. Whereabouts are you thinking that you'll have this den? Um... So basically, um, to cover most of the patio here, ah. um, because it's already got the base, which is quite helpful. Sounds like a plan. Olga, you've seen uh, Billy's mood board. Tell me, what are you thinking? I'm thinking to create something that will bring the stadium feel into the garden. Nice. So you kind of want to be overwhelmed. You walk in and you feel, wow. Olga's challenge is to construct a football stadium-themed den in Billy's garden, which reflects his passion for his favourite team, Manchester United. She has a brilliant plan to bring the vast outdoor feel of a stadium into the den, meaning he can practice his skills in the garden before heading inside to analyse his performance and relax, just like the pros. This den is on. And the first job is to screen off the space where we're going to be working. That means no more peeping from you, Mum. I hope he's not taking up all my barbecue space, because we love our barbecues here and I will be really cross. We're making no promises. My mum thinks that I'm going to do something horrific to the garden. And my dad just thinks it's puffer. Hold it. We go to the edge. First up, we need to measure and then tidy the space. We love a bit of weeding on the Dengineers. Right, here we go. Here we go. Then, fresh from the workshop, the first pieces of the den can be brought in. <laughs> the Dengineers are not hanging around today. You like the bricks? You know they're the same size as us on the Manchester United. Huh? What? Yeah. I went there, I measured the, the bricks and I made them exactly the same ones. That is epic. <gasps> Glad you approve, Billy. You've got your red colour scheme for sure. And there's a tantalising hint of Manchester United's Old Trafford Stadium. All adding to the excitement. In the blink of an eye, the outer shell of the den is up. This is perfect chilling space, what do you think? Epic. We're doing really well. With a stunning painted front attached and the roof panels in place to protect the den from the weather, things are taking shape nicely. It's the end of day one and we've made a great start. Do you want to come and have a little look? Here, our sneaky peek. There you go. The structure is up. There's still loads to do, but he's definitely got red. I think we can say that. But one thing I have learned here on the Dengineers is that anything can go wrong at any time. But for now, I'm going to take this good look. It's day two, and Olga and the Dengineers team are hard at work, assembling the jigsaw that will transform this basic wooden structure 
into Billy's dream football day. Everything looks really good. I'm happy with uh, what we achieved yesterday and I'm looking forward to the end of today because I'm sure it's going to be a big progress. Now the outer shell of the building is finished, Jeff, the electrician, can move in to fit the tens of metres of cabling, which will bring power and light to the deck. The plan is that the T-shirts are going to be hung in the middle of each of these panels. Right. So then the light needs to be on the top of it just to... Oh, OK, to, look, to illuminate. Give it, yes. OK, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Me. No problem. Our challenge is to make this a den that's protected from the outside weather all year around. The team do this by lining the floor with a waterproof membrane and add a layer of breathable wall to the walls, which insulates the den in winter and brilliantly keeps it cool in summer by trapping air inside the fibres. And whilst all this is going on, I'm taking Billy away for a taste of what life is like for his footballing heroes. Billy is Man United mad, so there was only one place I could bring him, but he's got no idea what I've got planned. So, have you never been to Manchester before? Never. Oh, look. What's that over there? Oh, it's the stadium. That's Old Trafford, isn't it? How's that to see that? Brilliant. Shame it's closed for the season, isn't it? We could have gone in. How good would that have been? Sick. Well, I'm only joking. They're waiting for us right now. Oh, Hayley! Yeah. <laughs> You're excited. Here we go. Come on, there's no, no, no more hanging around. I'm going to get in. It's massive. It's big, isn't it? I never thought I'd see this. Well, you have now. Hello there, Billy. Hello. We have something very special for you now that I'd like to show you. We're now going to experience what the players do on a match day. I'm going to take you out this magnificent summer. A lifetime's ambition is about to be fulfilled. Oh. Look at that. It's massive, isn't it? It's a dream come true. Where do you want to sit? Wine gigs. Oh, OK, I'll sit in Van Helsing, yeah? It's a good view, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think I'd ever be sat where the managers sit. OK, Billy, welcome to Manchester United home changing room. Wow, Billy, this is where the players will come every match day, walking in thinking, am I on the team sheet? Is my kit hanging up? They come in here like this. Oh, my God. Would you believe it? Billy's made the first team alongside his heroes. Epic. But we're not done yet. There you go. Well done, Billy. Well done. We've lined up Billy a training session with two of Manchester United's academy coaches. Love it, Billy. These guys look after the ruiners of the future, so even the bad weather won't stop Billy grabbing some awesome tips to take back to the deck. Good lad, well done. And what better way to cap off the day than a penalty shootout with mascot Fred the Red in goal. Yes, six points. Billy, six points. Good start from Billy. Now it's my turn. Oh! Oh, right in the face. Sorry, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to take another look at that. Oh. oh, painful. Can Billy take advantage of Fred's sore head? Yes! yes! What a day. I don't know who enjoyed it more, me or Billy. Good lad. <laughs> Back in the sunshine, Billy's mini Old Trafford is starting to take shape. You could fit a staggering 1,190 of Billy's dens onto Man United's pitch. And Olga has brought the massive stadium field to Kent using this very clever external metal frame. Obviously, we need to make sure it's really um, secure because it's a part of the den structure. It will definitely be secure. Perfect. This steel piping not only looks like the Old Trafford Stadium, but it also strengthens the overall den like a cool exoskeleton. I'm really happy with the steel construction. I think it really helped to achieve the stadium look. To stop her peeping at the crucial part of the build, I'm grabbing Mum Lisa to find out the lowdown on Billy. So, Lisa, tell me about Billy. What type of boy is he? 
He is very loving. He's always thinking of other people before himself. But he has had quite a difficult couple of years, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Last year, he was a bit poorly. It affected him a lot because he couldn't do none of his sports. He had to cut them all out. So it was quite upsetting to see him like that. What difference will this den make to Billy? This den for Billy would just be unbelievable because he'll have his own space away from his brother. <laughs> poor <laughs> so, Harry. Yeah, poor Harry, just so that he can have his friends around because he's got such a small bedroom. So it would just make the world a difference to him. Just look over there. What can you see? <laughs> what are you doing? Go on, clear off. He is proper inquisitive, isn't he? He is, yeah. He's nice. <laughs> <laughs> As the day draws to a close, the Dengineers have finished the outside of the den and brilliantly carried on the stadium theme inside. Looks good, doesn't it? The famously hard to please Olga is one happy designer. I'm not sure who designed this, but this is looking really good. Don't get overconfident, Olga. There's still loads to do and only two days left. Day three at Billy's Den and the focus has now shifted to the interior, where designer Olga wants to carry on working the big stadium film. But the peaceful start to the day is broken by some bad news from Jeff, the electrician. What's up? Looks like we've got a bit of a problem with one of the cables. This cable here, uh -huh. a straight cable back to the switch plate. Uh -huh. and there's a short between the live and the neutral. So I'm suspecting maybe one of the screws that's holding the cladding on has just nicked the cable. As things stand, the den isn't safe. And still there. So Jeff must investigate which screw is causing the short circuit. Still there. One by one. The delay gives Olga the perfect chance to work on a brilliant upcycle idea which takes inspiration from Billy's trip to Old Trafford. So, Billy, do you remember when you went to Manchester United? Old yes. Trafford, yeah? Uh, I was told that you've been sat into manager's seat. I don't think I'd ever be sat where the managers sit. They came up with this idea how to turn a pallet and an office chair into a manager seat. So I need you to help me and sand it down, because it needs to be nice and smooth before we're going to start painting it. Press it here. And then just really slowly, your toe is to the end of the chair off the back. Remember, power tools are dangerous, so never try this by yourself. Try this one. We can't promise Billy a heated seat like his Man U heroes enjoy, but at least he won't be getting splinters. That is super smooth. What do you think? What colour would you like to your chair to be? I'm going to go with white. White? Really? You don't want it red? Because Manchester United home kit is red, I think the toes have a little twist in it to have their away kit uh, colour in it as well, which is white. Liking that logic, Billy. Well done. You just need to be careful with the edge of seat. The paint is dripping down. Whilst the paint's drying, here's me mate Lauren to show you a Dengineer's den hack. Have you ever played football or any other sport and have nowhere to keep your MP3 player or your phone? Well, if so, come a little closer. Right, not that close. This is my MP3 player hack. First, find an old sock, ideally washed. Then take a pair of scissors and cut the foot off. Be careful. Turn it inside out. Pull the inside out sock up your arm. Roll or fold it half over and pop in your generic music device with the headphone socket at the top. And then enjoy. Really good, right? On the end! Lauren, leave the football to me. Once the paint on our upcycled pallet chair is dry, 
The next stage is to attach a comfy seat to make it fit for manager Billy. Yep, that's him. The chair may not be finished yet, but the main man can't resist a quick go. What do you think? It's amazing. The boss chair is the chair for the boss, and I'm the boss. I think it deserves a... Ollie, go get me a lolly and a drink, please. Billy may be having a rest, but there's loads more going on in the den. Not least Jeff's ongoing battle with the electrics. Luckily, he's winning. Right, I think I've uh, found the problem. There's a long screw I'd obviously gone through and just nicked the cable. So I'll put a shorter screw in. Fingers crossed, we'll be good to go. Jeff to the rescue. Problem solved. With just 24 hours until the reveal, Olga's banned Billy from seeing the den again. But she still needs his help with a striking idea she has for the den's interior. So I want you to design your dream uh, football kit. And then we're going to make it happen and we're going to put it into your den, OK? Olga's made four really cool wooden cut-out football shirts which will hang in the den, just like in the changing rooms at Old Trafford. Olga has a fantastic mind. She's really good at designing, so it's just mind-blowing how they could do all of this. garden there's just a few hours to go until the den is revealed in its full glory as the engineers team race towards the final whistle Olga's finishing her delicate paintwork so the last thing she needs is a pair of jokers to turn up and ruin her concentration Olga, how are you hey, doing? Olgs. I'm really well, how are you? Really good. Right, come on, let me see this den. This is what I'm excited about. It's a football den. Wait, wait, wait. Wait right for you. Right for you. Right, where are we going? This way? Yeah, here we go. Look at this. That's Min. Can you even have, like, a little kick-up competition here? Yeah. He is going to be so, so happy with this. Billy Boy won't be happy if it's not finished, Lauren. No! <laughs> <laughs> Don't even start. <laughs> If you get me on the nose, I'll be absolutely fuming. Imagine being 11 and having this space all for yourself. Like, he was telling me he loves his little brother, but he just wants his own little room, do you know what I mean? Little brothers are annoying, aren't they? <gasps> so are Mark Wrights, apparently. <laughs> oh, God! Look! Ah, what are you doing? Look, oh, look what I'm you sorry. did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry for patting your face. I am. No. I apologise. You're my partner. Of course yeah, I'm no. sorry. And I don't, you know, you shouldn't be paying anything other than what Olga tells no us. No one's. So little things like this, you shouldn't be painting. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> we'll never learn. But despite our messing around, the den is nearing completion. The upcycled chair gets those all important personal touches. With the heat building. The garden is getting its own makeover to make sure the football theme carries on outside the den. Yes, yes sir. Look at that. I feel like I'm in the shrimp for them. Yeah, I said. Yeah, I said. It's all getting a bit too much for Mum. Wow, what are they doing out there? I thought we were just designing the dens. Olga, oh, why do you have us working so hard? Because we've only got 30 minutes left, Mark. What the hell that was? Left. Come on, lost it, lost Easy it. Easy for you to say. I know, I know, come on. No den is complete without its own made-to-measure door. Come on, Joe. This okay. looks amazing. Okay. This is, like, the All finishing the touch below. that we've been waiting for. And Olga's design makes sure everyone knows who this den belongs to. <laughs> Done. Yep. See if it shuts, please. The last finishing touch. Yes. yes! I love it! Oh, it, looks amazing. it is now officially Billy's dead. <laughs> 40 hours of Dengineer's sweat and toil have turned a plain garden into a football fanatic's dream.
Billy's Den teams bright colours and striking stadium design to bring the majesty of Old Trafford to Kent. Should we get him out? Come on. Billy! Oh, what? Look at this, it's like your own area. You've got a goal with the United fans, you've got table football, and look at this. Look at the logo, oh. do you like it? I that... love it, that is epic. Do you want to go inside and yes. see the special effects? Yes. Yeah. Come on, let's, let's get in it. there. That's it. And why? Oh. This den's got the lot. Outside, a still floodlit structure, just like Old Trafford's, is crowned with Billy's unique team badge. Inside, there's a brilliant bright space to play games and prepare tactics, along with spaces for Billy to display his special footy memories. It's like a dream come true. Oh. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. And how do you like the uh, ceiling? Oh, the ceiling's amazing. It actually does have a stadium feel as you walk into the room. And Billy, do you remember when we did the T-shirts design? Oh, yeah. How amazing does that look? Looks ace. If it is finished, there's only one thing left to say. This den is done! Yes! Finally, Mum and Dad get to see what all the fuss is about. Hi, Mum! Oh, how cool is this? It's excellent. What do you reckon? Wow. Don't really cry. Oh, come in, Mum. Oh. You're so lucky. Thank you. I'm going to go myself. No, stop it. We're all being floods in a minute. No football den is complete without some mates to enjoy it with. Check that out. Get in there. Let's do first one to score wins. I felt really, really happy when I first saw the den. I actually couldn't believe my eyes. It's like a dream come true. Being an engineer has been fun, exciting, and I've learned to be patient. I've learned that anyone can do anything uh, if they want to. Yes! It will mean a lot for me to have my own space and a lot for my brother as well because that means he can have more of his own space, which he's been wanting for quite a while. Billy? Yes? Well done. Enjoy it. We'll see you later, yeah? OK. See you, Bye. Bye. See you, Bye, guys. guys. That way. Yeah, I do. Oh, love that den. I just don't want to leave. Right, you do know it's not your den, don't you? Your mum's rang three times. Your tea's going cold. We've got to go. No, but... No, no, no. Bill, no. Bill, I'm not tomorrow. I'll be around about 10 in the morning, OK? Come on. Bill, I'll see you tomorrow morning. And I'm Mark. And this is The Dengineers. The show that puts you in charge of building your very own dream den. Whoa! Indoors. Is this yours? Yeah. Outdoors. Oh, that's so cool. Even underground. Woo! That's amazing. Whatever you want, The Dengineers team are here to transform your ideas into amazing spaces. Built especially for you. Here we go. Engineers. Today we're in Kent to build a den based all around the beautiful game. My favourite sport. Yeah, that's right. Netball. No. Uh, croquet? No. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Tiddlywinks. A Tiddlywinks den. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly right. Wind up merchant. It's football, of course. Here's today's den engineer. Meet 11-year-old Billy. This is my Manchester United kit. 
the away kit. This is my alarm clock, which I love and hate at the same time. It doesn't take a genius to work out what his favourite sport is. That is a rainbow fit. So as you can see by all of this wonderful stuff, I'm a really, really, really big Chelsea supporter. No, not really. I'm a Manchester United supporter by miles. But this wannabe Rooney is running out of room for his growing footy collection. We've recently just moved into a really nice house from where we uh, used to live because um, the area wasn't that nice. But our other house was a lot bigger, so it means that I have to give up room space for my six-year-old brother, which is just horrible. Billy, shut up. Billy, shut up. It's really annoying because, one, he's always touching uh, my stuff when I tell him not to. Get off. He's always on my computer when I tell him not to. Ow, ow. At night time, he's always moving around and shaking the bed. Oh, my day, stop it. And this bed is just horribly squeaky. <laughs> so you need to help me out then, Jenny, because I need you to build me a football den um, so I can keep all my...